Hi, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be totally different from what I normally do. I'm going to be reviewing a Chanel Wallet on Chain, or Walk for short, and I've had this particular item for eight years now, and I think I can give a pretty good review of it. Um, just a backstory, when I was growing up, my mother bought Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Elle, um, Glamour, Allure, all fashion magazines, and I grew up looking at those. I can remember being six years old and looking at my mother's Vogue, and that was always a part of my life growing up, looking at my mother's fashion magazines. And when I became a teenager, I got really interested in Chanel, and I just loved what Karl Lagerfeld did with Chanel in the 90s. When I was in high school, it was the early 90s, and I knew when I got older, I was gonna have something from Chanel in my life. So in 2015, I got the classic wallet on chain, and this is the old style. They have a newer style out that has, um, mine is the snap closure, and the newer one is magnetic. And with the older style, I have the authenticity card, and with the newer ones, they don't have that. They have another system to track the bag. So you've probably seen this before. Um, mine is in caviar leather with the silver hardware. If I were to have bought this now, I probably would have got, in, got it in gold, um, but I got the silver, and I do really like this. I think it's beautiful. And mine has held up beautifully. I love this bag so much. I use it all the time. I use it, you know, when I'm going out to do errands or going out in the evening. This is the, um, it's considered an SLG, a small leather good. Um, to me, it's a bag because it's got a chain and it holds a decent amount. The inside has the classic um, burgundy fabric interior and You've probably seen this before. Um, the top has, oops, I shut it. <laughs> the top has this pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And then here's the main compartment and mine is so used, it's super stretched. Like, which actually I like this cause I can fit more, you can see I can fit more things in it. And then it has the six um, card slots and then you have a pocket in the front, there's a zipper compartment, and there's another pocket right here beside the zipper compartment. And here it just says that it's made in Italy, and then at the top here it has Chanel and the logo. And I can fit not a ton of stuff in it, but a decent amount. So. I have this old cellular phone because um, I'm filming on my iPhone mini, so I can't show you how that fits in, but this is about the same size and it easily fits into the bag. And then I have from Louis Vuitton, this is their um, key clay pouch and you can put your keys in here. I tend to put change in here. I have a lot of uh, Canadian change in this and that fits in, no problem. I always carry a hand sanitizer with me, and this is from Bath & Body Works, it's the white pumpkin, and I can fit that in, no problem. And then I have a L'Occitane mini hand cream, and I can fit that in. And then I have a little mini lipstick. I always bring a mini lip gloss or lipstick with me and that fits in and then I have keys and I just have that in here and of course I don't have my cards with me because I would have my driver's license, health card, um, credit card, debit card and whatever other cards they would fit right in and then for actual cash I would just put that in the zipper compartment. So if I had cash with me, it would just fit right in there. And done, I'm ready to go. So that's what fits in there. 
Now the chain is extremely long, so I always do this. I wrap it around the bag like that, and then I shut it, and then it has sort of the chain, the way I've wrapped it, it's on top, and I just use it like a shoulder bag. So I carry it like that, and that's how I use it. And I love this bag. I have used this so much, and I do think it's worth getting. Now, of course, the price increases. Uh, today, this bag in Canadian dollars costs 2000 I wrote it down because I checked it. No, it costs $4,225. That's today's price. When I got this, it was, I think, about 2000 So back then, I thought that was a crazy amount to pay. I knew I was, I was going to have to pay a lot of money if I was going to have Chanel anything. Um, my cat's meowing. <laughs> but anyway, now uh, the price is $4,225, and that's before tax. So while I do like the bag, I don't know that I would pay what it costs today. Um, well, maybe I would. I mean, I got it when I got it, and I'm glad I got it back in 2015. Um, and it is a really great piece. I use it all the time and I, I just love it. Um, I think that, you know, if somebody wants to spend their money on something, I don't judge for that. I think that a person can spend money however they want to and, you know, spend it on whatever makes them happy. So for me, this made me really happy and I use it all the time. I've continued to use this and I will keep using this. Um, I'm never going to not use this. I'll keep using it. I'm never going to sell it. Um, I will use this until I'm old and gray and enjoy it. So I do think it's a good little bag, although they call it a small leather good. To me, it's a bag. And I think it's, well, I'm happy that I got it and that it's in my life. Um, if you were on the fence about buying it, maybe you were thinking about it. I think it's great. Um, you can always go into the boutique if you have one where you live and try it on and just see what you think of it. Mine is in the caviar leather. These come in lambskin as well. I chose the caviar because I think it's just way more durable. This has traveled with me um, like on planes and you know, I just put it underneath the seat and it's it's held up beautifully. So I love this bag and I do think it was worth it. Today's price, uh, not 100% sure. I don't know if I myself would pay that, but you know, sometimes we want something so much, you buy something because it makes your heart sing and that's a personal thing. So if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.